Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm back again with another video, just churning these babies out. Um, if you saw my last video, you saw the preview of what's coming up. Uh, first of all, let's get uh, let's get my rally cap on here. Let's get some Atari Atari rally going. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling it. All right, we are going to play some Atari Paddle games. As you can see, this is the TV games Atari Paddle. Um, it's set up pretty much like the uh, Atari 2600 Paddle uh, controllers that came out way back in the day. See, the only difference, this one, you can see it's a little bit thicker. Uh, it takes four AA batteries. So I just put some fresh ones in here, so we should be good. Got a menu button. It's got the uh, on off switch of course got a little reset button on it um, of course it's got the AV out so that's why I've got it I've got it running through all my uh, big systems and huge gigantic uh, mainframes and stuff what have you it's also got another cord which links to this the second now this is what the 2600 paddles look like so that's about spot on they, they did a really good job with this it looks nice it looks about perfect uh, but that this right here is the um, second player, so it's got a built-in two-player paddle. Of course, this is the first player. I've, I played a little bit of it last night, just just a little quick game, and it feels good. It's very responsive. It's buttery smooth. I mean, the the uh, analog on it it works really good, and it's just like the um, the originals. The only problem with the originals, like these. Um, they get to a point, you know, over time they're old and they get jittery. So like if you're moving back and forth in the game, uh, like say Breakout for example, it just gets jittery, um, the control does. So you have to either fix it or get like new parts for it, which a um, company called Best Electronics, they do that. They've got little pots, potentiometers um, you can replace them with and, and what have you. Also, they do good uh, 5200 Atari 5200 uh, uh, repair kits with gold-plated uh, uh, buttons and stuff. But that's that's for another time. Let's go ahead and get uh, started on some of these games. Um, I want to go ahead and kind of do a little bit more of a detailed playthrough on some of these, just because I want to try to get some scores, rock some scores. So it might take a uh, maybe a uh, couple of videos, two or three. You never know. Just bear with me you know have a little fun enjoy hopefully you'll enjoy with me these games and I'll, I'll let you know how well the these um, paddle controllers work and I can tell you they definitely work good you've got uh, a lot of games here this was released I want to say this was released in uh, early 2000s possibly I uh, could be wrong my dates may be off but you got uh, a lot of paddle games on here. You got like, uh, I'll show you right now. There's Pong, Warlords, Breakout, Canyon Bomber, Casino, Circus Atari, Demons to Diamonds, Night Driver, Steeplechase, Street Racer, Super Breakout, Video Olympics, and Warlords. Okay. Having said that, let's start off by the original Atari hit Pong. That was the um, <clears throat> major game back in the uh, 70s. Of course, um, you had so many people playing it, the quarters, you couldn't stuff enough quarters into those machines. You know, it would just, that's how popular that's this game was. This was before Pac-Man or Space Invaders or anything. So yeah, Pong was the game and it spawned a lot of clones and stuff. So People got burned out on it after a while, but you know, that's that's later on down. Let, let's give it a shot. Let's go for Pong. All right. This possibly might be a two-player game, so I don't know if I'll be able to play it. Oh, no, no. It's a one-player game, which <laughs> so far, computer's kicking my backside. All right, let's do this. All right. I wonder how many uh, points this goes to. Okay, hitting the button resets it. My bad. All right. Okay. All right. Let me get uh, let me get the action face going. Oh man. All right. I am winning. 
no, I'm losing by one. I almost want them, the left side, to get the ball first. Okay. All right, we're tied up here, guys. This is the quintessential classic Pong. All right. Of course, there are strategies to this game, too. I guess you certain ways you let the ball hit off of the uh, stick, and it'll go certain directions, which I always like the strategies to the, ah to this game. I went the wrong way there. All right, it's, getting, it's a close game here. All right, all right, come to daddy. All right, now I went straight across. If I had reflected that off the edge more than it, it does curve like like so. Ah, oh, I went off screen. I didn't know you could. All right, big five. You could imagine back in the day all the intense battles people had over over this game. Which if you think about it, that's that was the really the the popularity of two player. I mean, think about it, Street Fighter 2 in the early 90s. I mean, it was popular because of two players versus this is kind of, you know, the same principle. You know, just, just fighting against each other, if you want to call it a fight. <laughs> it's a competitive play is what it is. Which I love combat for the Atari 2600. I just never had anybody to play it with. <laughs> oh, Alright, I'm falling apart here, guys. Alright, here we go. Yes. A lot of strategy. And I'm telling you, this very good paddle controller does make a difference. We'll see how far we go here. All right. Eleven. Let's see. Mm, 12. I'm sure there are settings to make this a lot faster and more challenging. Because he's going kind of slow over there. Alright. Let's see if it goes to 15. Don't want the ah ah didn't want the straight shot. I want the kind of the uh, diagonal. There we go. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. It looks like I won. Yep. It does go to fifteen. So that was Pong. I was triumphant over the uh, AI. Of course, there. Like I said, there's some difficulty settings. On that hit the menu button and just scroll through to the different settings all right that's cool let's try warlords now there's two versions there's the Atari 2600 version and then there's this arcade version basically you have in every corner you've got um, kind of like a little castle or whatever you're defending and you have a ball that will knock out the walls on all four corners and you're fighting against three other people. And so what you just got to do is keep protecting yourself from the ball and hitting everybody else's walls instead of, you know, yours. Basically, try not to get your um, castle blown up. So check it out. Let's see here. All right. I am in the bottom right corner. All right, let's check this out. I'm in the bottom right corner, so the ball should be coming. Here comes the... All right, this is... It's pretty intense. Looks like... Uh, 
Looks like if I hold the ball, if I hold the button, I can hold the ball. And see, that's another strategy. You can kind of. Uh, you can kind of figure out where you want to throw that ball. You use the paddle. See, now I just blew up his. Now there's two of them. So it makes it a little more challenging. See, I am the blue guy. Once again, I repeat, the blue person. See, now I'm not, now it's getting a little bit hairy. I'm about to, <laughs> looks like I'm about to get blown up here. Ah, oh, see, I just got blown up. All right. All right, let's see. Enter my initials. All right, let's give that one more go. I'm used to the 2600 version. So, let's give that a shot again. There's the dragon. In the 2600 version, there's no dragon. There's a homebrew game that they did a really good job on it, where it kind of recreates this game pretty good. So let's go try to get that guy. Ah, see, it's backfiring actually for me. I should just let it bounce. I'm sitting here trying to. Oh no! All right. Oh, you can imagine this four-player game. Ah, oh, yes, got him. Now I just got to hang in there because I am low. Oh, no, I am vulnerable right now. Ha <sighs> ha! I'm getting the high score. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, well. I messed up my initials. But that's all the more reason to get high score again. All right, let's try this one more time, and then we'll move on to another game. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do. All right, I got the ball. All right. Try not to let my castle walls get blown up. Ah. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. See, this is where you got to be quick with the. You got to flick that paddle really fast. I remember doing this on the 2600 version. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Come on. There we go. See, now we got three of them. Intense. Intense. If I can just hang on. Oh, no, no. Oh, so close. So very close. You can see how intense this gets. All right. At high score, not bad. 67.50. All right. Not bad. Let's go to... The level select, the game select. Hey, let's go for Breakout. I love this game, especially with this controller. I mean, that's when it's done right. There have been ports, there have been TV games that Atari has done where 
they use the joystick, but no, that's not the right feel. This is perfect right here. The perfect feel. I mean, this you can't get any better than this. Of course, the object is to bounce the ball and break the blocks. Um, pretty straightforward. It's a fun game. It's kind of like a Pong game, but a little bit more... Uh, a mm, little bit more relaxed, kinda. I mean, you know, it's not, well, <laughs> not when you get fast like that. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Sorry, I'm just a little bit concentrating it, but that's cool. You all are concentrating with me. And I appreciate you. Hmm. All right, here we go. See, if I can get to the top there, all bets are off, because we can get A lot of blocks knocked out if I can get to the top but by this time I'll have most of these blocks uh, gone there we go that's it that's what you're looking for in this game Just to knock it up to the top. Oh, all right. Is this the last one? No, that was it. 333, or yeah, 333. Let's um, let's see if we can try that again. Let me get one more game out of this. All right, all right. Let's try this one more time. I got 333 on board. We will try this again. I'd like to clear a level if possible. All right. So far, so good. I don't want it to get too fast, but I know once you get into the higher blocks, it will speed up. All right. Oh, man, it's intense. There we go. Oh, wow. Man. I know I can do better. You really got to pay attention to what side you knock this ball on, on your bar. Because that's how it'll re, um, reflect. How it'll bounce back. So really strategic. All right, come on. Get up there. There, perfect, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And if you notice, when you do go to the top, your uh, bar gets a lot shorter. All right, nice. Oh, 361. Okay, I beat the score. Let's see if I can finish out this level. Now, watch. Yeah. My bar's gotten shorter. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. 
Wow, I didn't expect that. Okay, let's get... No! I want to at least hit one. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes it gets frustrating when you don't hit anything. You're just bouncing this back and forth. Is that it? Okay. Not too bad. I mean, I know there's better experts out here, out there. But 405 on um, Breakout. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Maybe I can do a dedicated uh, video for just that game or any other game. Let's go for Canyon Bomber. Now, I don't remember much about this game. It's it, it, I played it yesterday, but it just doesn't seem the the paddle does a whole lot for this. I'm basically just pressing the button. I mean, unless the paddle moves the moves the bullet somehow. Alright, I am the green guy. Alright, the goal is just to try to get as many points as you can. You know, you see, you're bombing down. Okay. I'm trying to bomb. Let's see. Yeah, the, uh, the he beat me. <laughs> Okay, I might come back to this game if I don't fully know how to do it. See, the, all they're doing is dropping the bombs and they're getting so many points. Alright. It's not fun. It's a fun little game. I mean, don't get me wrong. I need to master this game. Okay. Apparently he won again. All right, I was just kind of looking at the uh, the different um, options on that. Okay, we got Canyon Bomber. Let's try Casino. All right. Okay, so I can bet using the paddle. I can bet uh, bet sixty. Okay, use the paddle. You just basically go through and... Um, ooh, what do I want to do? Hmm. I get a hit. Oh, is this 21? I guess it is. No? Let's see. Let's go for 60 again. Alright. Uh, I'll take a hit. I'll stay. Ooh, we're tied. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take a hit. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I busted. Dang it. All right, let's do it. Let's go all out here, guys. Let's go 200. Oh, come on. 15. What should I do? What should I do? I'm going to stay. Nice. No? I lost? Shoot. I did. Oh, come on. That's the computer for you. All right, I'm going to bet 200 again. Uh, take a hit. I got 17. I'm going to stay. Really? Alright. 
I'll stay. I got 18. Alright, this computer's getting a little cheap now. That's I'm going, going all in here, guys. Alright. I lost. Okay. That was weird. Alright. That was casino. Basically, you just use your paddle to choose the... Uh, different uh, if you want to stay or get ahead or etc etc let's try circus Atari this was always a fun quirky game for me um, get your little guy you're bouncing you gotta bounce him oh poor guy you hit the button there we go. Hit the button and you, you switch sides. You in, get in, inverted. So that way you can kind of... You really got to build momentum on these. Uh. Oh! Poor guy. I bet that hurts. Oh, see? I hit the button. I would have flipped and got him. All right. Ah, man, poor guy. All right, 170 points. That's eh, okay. Let's see if we can get more now. All right, hunker down here. Wow. Wow, I'm falling apart. Wow, I just came back. I think I beat my last score. <laughs> 269, I did better. Let's do one more. Whee! This is the circus. Circus Atari. Oh! Come on. You guys fly. Oh! All right. guys you can do it oh throwing a wrinkle in there guys oh all right, come on, circus. You can, you can do it. You can do the circus. Oh, uh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, 555 points. Not bad. Very fun game. All right, that was, that was Circus Atari. Let's go. We have seven more games. I might split this up into two parts so it won't be too long. Uh, let's go with one more. Let's go with Demons to Diamonds. Now, this was a little quirky game. I liked I remember when I first played this game, I didn't have any paddles, and I thought it was you had to use the joystick. Basically, you move at the bottom and you shoot your same colored. Uh, enemies as, as you know as your ship 
or whatever that is down there. So I'm going to be shooting red. If there was two players, it should be purple at the top. If I shot the purple ones, then they turn into skeletons, and then they'll start shooting at you and everything, and you know, you get hit and everything. But once you shoot shoot the red ones, they turn into little diamonds that go across the screen, and then you just shoot them again to get some extra points. So be that as it may, let's check this out. This is demons to diamonds. So I'm shooting. See the little diamond there. Yeah, be careful of the dang. Oh, see now that turned into a skull. Got to be careful. Really challenging. It's a very, it's a very different game. I remember playing this, and I'm like, wow, this is this is unique. <laughs> But like I said, I also played it with the joystick, thinking that's how you played it. And I'm like, really? <laughs> but then I discovered paddles, and I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. Got to be careful. That's where the paddles come in. just gives you that little bit of an advantage to, to move fast than what a joystick would do. kind of wait them out. Alright. Let, let, let these guys go. Turn it into red ones. I had forgotten that they turn when you hit them. When they hit the wall they turn into the opposite color. I forgot about that or didn't know. <laughs> see, and you see how much more challenging each level is getting. You just gotta be careful not to let these guys hit you. Mm. Cool. We're getting good. Uh, better not jinx it. Oh. Ah, oh, see. Ah, first time I got hit. You got all these pink ones. I'm worried about hitting those. See, the longer you hold down the button, the further your uh, laser goes. You can sit there and press it, tap it, and then you just you can barely do it. It's another strategy. Oh, no, don't fall apart on me. Skulls all over the place. I come to pop. Oh, come on, no. Completely falling apart now. some of the stuff. Whew. 
Ready for the next level. We're <laughs> jumping right into it. Is that it? Oh, that was it. Not a bad little run I did. I didn't I didn't realize I was that uh, good at it. 3,649, that's not bad. I mean, I know there's better experts out there, but still, I like it. I mean, like I said, this is a little playthrough to let you guys see and check them out and uh, tell me, you know, get an impression of it and let you see what you think of them. But that was the first few games on the Atari uh, Paddle TV Plug and Play. You got the first seven games, so I will get the uh, two, three, four, five, six more left. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get the next six games in part two of this uh, video. But thanks for joining me, and, uh, you know, I'll bring you some more games. <laughs> so that was fun, though. I appreciate you uh, watching and uh, following along with me. And um, I will sign off, and I will bring you part two as soon as I can, which will be pretty soon. <laughs> Take care, guys.